Just before bed one night on the spaceship, I was playing the guitar and my hand went like this. Astronaut, spacewalker, and mustache aficionado, Chris Hadfield talks about playing music in a space station with a casual ease. But during the day I was going, I'm on this road. In 2013, he spent five months orbiting the Earth. His days were filled with experiments for NASA. But when the workday was done... I, I would take the guitar and play songs that I knew or work on new songs or write about the experience. First, though, Hatfield had to figure out how to play the guitar in zero G. But eventually I found a way to sort of pinch the guitar with my right bicep and hold it and get myself break because you don't want to float off while you're playing either. And, uh, and even though it wasn't the cleanest playing I've ever done, it, it is what it is. This is ground control to Major Tom. With his books, speeches, and the viral video Space Oddity, Hatfield's mission is to share the unique perspective he had. The world is pouring by. You cross Canada in 10 minutes. You go around the world every hour and a half. And, and the world is so uh, surprisingly textured and beautiful and multicolored and ever-changing. It's mesmerizing to see the world. And so how do you, how do you capture that? No, I don't know. If speed can help me, but I'm going fast as a man can. For the boy who grew up in a farmhouse surrounded by music, the answer was an album. Twelve songs recorded 400 kilometers above the earth. The purpose of the album is one more way for maybe people to see the, the, what we're doing in exploring the universe, what the earth really looks like, what it feels like to be one of the human beings way out on the edge uh, of what we're capable of doing. Back on terra firma, Hadfield brought the recordings to producer Robbie Lackritz, who fleshed out the sounds with a full band. Can't stand on my own two feet, I just float away. While some may see the Space Sessions album as a novelty act, Hadfield says he's faced bigger risks. On my first shuttle launch, the odds of dying were 1 in 38. Dying in nine minutes. Not having somebody say, I don't like your music. I didn't play that music to impress somebody. I wrote and recorded that music to explain it to myself. And while Hadfield has no plans to tour, he says he'll keep strumming to make sense of the grand adventure he's still on. Eli Glasner, CBC News, Toronto.